What's up everybody? Today's video is an old video from last October where I built a wedding altar to, for my friends John and Lexi. And I got a little bit better at videoing on this so there's a little bit more of the parts included in the process that I went through. So I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so here's just a sort of typical unloading process. Um, it's nice to have that big bay door and trailer. Just bring everything in. It makes it pretty easy. Um, uh, here, yeah, I do a lot of work outside just for dust reasons. Uh, this is me cutting down two by fours into basically two by twos. Uh, there's going to be all the little decorative pieces on the top and the sides. So just trimming those down, cut a bunch of ones. And you see I kind of mocked up the side design there. We're just taking the two two by fours on each side um, I cut off the edges so they're flat and then I'm combining those into basically a two by eight um, glue those together let it sit and then here's trying to figure out how to do the sides and I think this shot here I'm uh, coming up with some templates basically playing around with like angles and whatnot because that piece right there when it's dry I want to take out a uh, uh, sort of curved section on both ends. Um, so that was, uh, I think I was planing there in the beginning and now hand sanding. And there, okay, yeah, there's the template. Um, and I just traced it on there and jigsaw it out. This was actually a really long video that I compressed down to be like 30 seconds or something, so that's why it's kind of jumpy there. This, there was a lot of data. Um, but it came out pretty good. Those curved sections on the end look nice and the little ornate uh, detail added to it. Little sides. <clears throat> That's my old table saw too from a little while ago. I just sold that to a friend. Uh, yeah, there's the sort of finished top or at least like set in place. And then uh, each one of those things I got to drill down into it. And drill press makes quick work of this. Space them out evenly. Yes, yeah, so that's the top essentially there. And I'm assembling it upside down there just to kind of see and get some measurements of how the legs fit in there. More sanding, always more sanding. Pocket holes on, I think those are the cross beams for the side pieces. Yep, those those three pieces there in the middle to kind of support everything. Yep, pocket holes are great. Apparently there's something on YouTube where people don't like pocket holes, but I love them. Use them all day. Uh, assembling the other side, the same as the first. Getting everything evenly spaced. And now I've got both sides there. Fit them in there. And I labeled these also like A, B, C, D. So we could have like the proper orientation to go back in because this had to be broken down and uh, put in the trailer to take to the wedding. The wedding was in Georgia. <clears throat> and, uh,. I'm going to flip it in a second here. Um, yeah, it transported pretty easy, just those three pieces, two sides and a top. Ended up being more stable than I thought, too. I thought I was going to have to put some feet on the bottom to kind of extend that base, but it came out pretty good. And uh, they requested that it <clears throat> remain the natural wood, so I didn't do any stain or anything. Um, I probably will just paint it white in the future to just rent out to somebody. I think that would be a more common uh, request. And there's the finished product. Uh, there's at the ceremony. This was before everything got set up and the flower people come later, but yeah, it looks nice on the backdrop there. And gotta have the bottle opener. And there's some decorations on it. This was after the wedding. 
Not the fanciest floral and decorative design, but there it is. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for more. I've got a bunch of videos in the backlog that I'm trying to edit together and should be out very soon. So uh, subscribe and like and all that good stuff. Thanks.